In today's video, I review the Sateki headphone stand and USB 3.0 hub right after this. In today's video, I'm going to look at a particular accessory I've been eyeing up for a while. Since I've been getting a lot of Bluetooth and wired headphones from companies, I didn't like the fact that they were just kind of all over the place on my desk or on the opposite desk over there or on my backpack. I really like to have a place uh, to display them and also be close by because I do a lot of video editing with my Mac Mini as of late using Final Cut Pro 10. And the speakers on this monitor are actually quite terrible. So I need headphones on hand and close by to be able to monitor everything, which is another bonus that I'm gonna talk about in the next segment of this video. So let's uh, put some headphones on the Sateki stand and also connect the USB 3.0 hub and see how that works and how it looks on the Mac Mini. Just wanted to go through some of the uh, physical characteristics of this headphone stand and USB hub. First and foremost, really nice brushed aluminum type feel. Pretty lightweight. Uh, it connects in the back, comes in two pieces. I just slid the actual headphone stand into the back here. Very easy and a tight fit after it's connected. You can see here, it also has uh, wire management for your headphones if you're using wired headphones, like in the case, like I said, that I needed for Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, here we have the connection that goes into your computer or your laptop for the USB 3.0 hub. Here is the three USB 3.0 ports. You can see the little blue. That shows that it's a uh, USB 3.0 speed uh, port. And also we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I did not know that you can do headphone monitoring via USB audio. So it's, it comes up as a USB audio device and then I could plug my headphones in here and actually monitor right from the stand. So I won't have to turn my Mac Mini around and plug it in. I can have forward facing access to a headphone jack. So that's really nice right there. So I have three sets of headphones here. I just want to make sure all three of their size differently. I want to make sure they fit nice on the headphone stand. Let's start out with the Beats Studio Wireless. You can tell they're already, I gave an update recently to those and um, they fit good. Now I want to show you here on the top, there's a little rubber mat that gives a, good, a grip there. And there's also the same rubber mat on the bottom so it doesn't slide around your desk. I like that a lot. Let's try this pair from Amazon. Perfect. Let's try my favorite ones. These things are awesome for the gym. These AH07 uh, headphones from Archier. So A-R-C-H-E-E-R. -E -E that by far is my favorite pair of headphones for the gym. Really do like those. So all three headphones fit well. Let's try the uh, cable management in the back. Since I have my Beats Studio Wireless wire here. Pull across here. And... I'm not doing an awesome job, but it is doing an awesome job of actually holding the cable there. And I can just do that. Pretty nice. Not perfect, but that's what you do when you're behind the camera. You don't have a good line of vision. <laughs> so, okay, let's uh, go to ScreenFlow and test out the USB 3.0 hub as well as the USB audio to monitor uh, through the headphone jack. So I have decided to do here is not only use the headphone stand USB hub for monitoring audio with the Beats Studio wireless headphones I have here, but also use the Blue Snowball USB mic and plug it into one of the USB ports. So uh, I have a blue light on the headphone stand. I also have a light on the Snowball showing it's powered. Um, and I'm also going to test out here to see what I have as far as input and output. Now you have the input here doing this, but on screen flow, my input should be the blue snowball. Now what I want to do for the output is switch it to the USB audio device so that way I can hear everything because it was on the monitor where, like I said before, the speakers suck. So let me do a test. I'm going to open up StevieRichardsOnline.com. Good. It worked. So I can hear it. You might be able to hear it through that because I record the computer audio on um, on ScreenFlow 5. But I could hear that. It sounded really good. So I'm going to test out, once again, one of the QuickTime player reviews I did here and see. Perfect. So when I listen to audio with the monitor speakers, it really is annoying. It doesn't give a true sense 
of the audio, especially if I'm doing voiceover work or syncing up the audio to the video. So this is really good. Now I can't monitor my microphone because the USB microphone doesn't have monitoring, but the fact that I can monitor audio in Final Cut, I can monitor what comes through, really nice. And I'm gonna ch double check the sound quality, but seems like the bandwidth is really good with the USB 3.0 hub. And the fact that when I take these off, I can just put the speaker, put the headphone, I should say, not the speaker, put the headphones right on the headphone stand. It's displayed very nicely, and I don't have anything to worry about. It just looks very aesthetic, especially with this brand new desk that I built. Very nice, looks really clean, looks great next to the Mac Mini. It's a little bit darker of an aluminum, but you know what? I love it, and uh, for being around 30 to 35 bucks on Amazon.com, or you, you can go to Satechi.com and check that out, but I'll give you the Amazon link, and remember, just a little bit goes towards buying great stuff like this, and also some fitness stuff for the fitness side of SteveRichardsOnline.com. So make sure you do visit the site. We just brought it up a few seconds ago. Check out the tech and the fitness content. Also subscribe to the SRO podcast. Look it under Stevie Richards Online Podcast on iTunes or just click the subscribe to the podcast button within the pod pa podcast page. I'll, I'll remember how to say it if I can. <laughs> a little tongue-tied. All right, everybody, have a great day and see you in the next video.